I want those who watch to imagine, right? Like you and yourself or people you may know that might fit a little description, but it's like, for me, it's exciting the time that I'm in and that we're in. But just imagine like, you know, a lot of us, I was born in 1980. I'm an eighties baby. So imagine growing up through, excuse me, growing up through that era, growing up through, you know, single mom. My mom was on an abortion table, decided to get up and have me. Single teenage mom, um, growing up, seeing all I saw, physical abuse in the home, sexual abuse, all kind of crack, coke, everything, dope, needles, all that in real life. Going through all that, going through poverty, thinking you're going to be nothing to yourself, thinking that your stepdad working on the back of a recycling truck, making 35000 a year, having a county job was a come up for us. You got a county job. You shh. Imagine that mind frame and being a dope boy at 15 to 25 years old and somewhere breaking out of that mind frame and seeing yourself as better, seeing your potential and seeing that you have more to offer the world. And to break out of that and to have ups and downs, launch businesses, but to be in a seat today with no college education, coming out of a literal trap, like where I used to be on 138th and Broadway in Harlem and all over the country, not 95 South. Like my real life experience is what I'm saying is, I would tell my younger brother, to me, it's like we all, we, it's like we won already. For me to be an ex-dope boy, for me to be an ex-inmate on Rikers Island, for me to be an ex-misogynist, for me to be a ex, uh, all the negative things I was, right? Selfish, arrogant, um, all those things I were over the years. And some of these stories you hear might be a bit of my growth as a man and as a human. I might have been way more selfish. I might have been way more arrogant. I may have been more aggressive. I may have been a lot of things over the years, but it's who, but to be who I am today, a husband, Ernestine Morrison, a father of three daughters. My oldest daughter was born while I was in prison, King, in upstate New York. She now goes to one of the top colleges in the country about to graduate in a few months. To just have a, a daughter born last November, Kobe, to be able to be a faithful married husband, to be able to mentor youth every other Saturday, to be able to launch this fund as an opportunity for our community. Um, coming from where I come from and what I thought was cool, what I thought being a man was, and what I thought, you know, all that, I just guys want you to understand like who I am as a person and when I talk about being a revolutionary and a pan-Africanist, I really believe our people deserve equity and our own nationality and real liberation, not just trinkets and tokens. That's my core. I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I follow Marcus Garvey. I follow Malcolm X. I, I'm really about being a, we all celebrated Judas and the Black Messiah and Fred Hampton's a revolutionary, but most of us aren't willing to join the revolution or support the revolutionaries of your generation or join the revolution. Your support or question those who tear down a revolution who have nothing alternative to bring that they built. They'll tear me down and tell you everything they think is wrong about me, but offer you no viable alternative. So I'll leave us with a question. If you think about anyone that's done something significant, a big power move for our people, not just business power move, for our people, think about everyone you've ever known in history or 450 years here on this side of the water that has made power moves for our people to advance. Name one of them, man or woman, who has not been attacked, who has not been torn down, and was not been, who has not suffered character assassination. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying like, yo, I'm just a perfect guy. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I'm not a fraudulent guy. I'm not a faker. I'm not no, no get over. I'm not a scammer. I'm not no hiding behind some fake liberation mask. I'm saying, no, I'm the same one that spent two years to put the fund up. I'm the same one that, that launched it and that followed through off the launch. I'm the same one that fought through the pandemic. I'm the same one that got us a dividend. I'm the same one who went through the anxiety of two S uh, SEC and DOJ investigation. Not because I was doing something wrong, but I think all of you all, the DOJ, SEC knocked on your door so I want to investigate you. You could be doing, you know, you had nothing wrong. But you're still going to be concerned about the outcome because you know how the system play. We know the system. But my family endured that for us. And then to still get criticized, I'm criticize those people ain't gonna never going to change from no passionate plea of me, from no exposed integrity and transparency, but for those who resonate with this frequency and vibration, I'm asking for y'all support, y'all love. And I just want you to ask yourself, if it were not me, take Jay Morrison out of it and put Sean here or anyone else. 
Is there another black man that could have raised millions from all our 15,000 of our people in 22 countries and sat in a seat and not be torn down? I think there's not one. I just happen to be the one. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a very direct question. And, and, and you just said a lot and it's powerful stuff and I'm going to turn that into a segment so that, because I think it, that sums up our entire conversation and it allows your perspective to be put out there in your words. So I'm absolutely going to put that out unedited and allow you to speak for yourself. Looking directly at me, mm -hmm. is Jay Morrison a scammer? Absolutely no, 100% no. I'm a real one from day one. I'll leave it there. Where can people find you, Jay? Uh, you guys can find me uh, on all platforms, even my website, mrjmorrison.com, Instagram, Mr. J. Morrison, YouTube, Mr. J. Morrison, always giving free grain, Twitter, Mr. J. Morrison. Um, I thank you for the interview. Um, you guys can also text me and join my text community, 404-737-5751. I'm always building that way as well and galvanizing and mobilizing. That's 404-737-5751. Shoot me a text. Jay, I appreciate your time. And again, the door is always open, man. Continue your success. And, uh, you know, you, you listening to you, you are built to endure this. So God willing, everything works out. And I would love to um, interview you in the future where, where you're on the other side of right. scrutiny. And um, we'll just take it from there. But I appreciate you. Continue to be a power move maker. Uh, thank you, Ching, and I appreciate the, uh, you know, I, I was good, good journalism, asking the tough questions, I ain't mad at it, and uh, also being fair in the answers, right, um, in regards to your responses to the questions, not, not coming from a, a biased perspective. I appreciate that. My brother. All right, peace. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.